welcome to a new video. Where Hi, are buddy. we, Kyle? We are in Montenegro. Yeah, the beautiful nation of Montenegro, right on the sea here. We're actually staying right in this building, right there. That's where we're living for the next few days. And uh, I'll show you that in a little bit. Where are we right now, Tal? We are in Herceg Novi. Yeah, this place is super beautiful. It's a little town on the water. There's a beautiful bay over here. It's really nice. But we're going out for a little adventure today. Where are we going? We're going to Kotor. Yeah, it's about an hour away from here. So let's begin our journey. So we can take a bus there. That's uh, the main option of how to get to Kotor. It costs only about five euro. But I think we're going to try for a more interesting way of travel. And maybe try to hitchhike and get a local to pick us up there. So there's a few things to note when you're trying to hitchhike. You want enough room for the people to see you and you need enough room for them to pull over. So this could be good, but I, I feel like we should just at least keep walking because if we make it to the bus station without getting a ride, we might just hop on a bus. This is a good spot right here. Two kilometers. We're two. going to uh, Herceg Novi bus station. Some two kilometers. Two kilometers. Okay, you want to go? Yeah, sure. Let's go. Is it okay, two of us? Yeah. 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 Thank you. That guy was nice. He drove us two kilometers up the road. So we're getting closer. <laughs> it's some amazing music in there. I was hyped. That was good. Go this way. So we got one ride while hitchhiking. We tried hitchhiking, getting a ride all the way to Kotor, but no one was stopping for us. And the next bus leaves in like five minutes. So we came to the bus station and we bought a bus ticket. It's only four euro, but. At least we didn't have to walk here. We got a ride pretty much all the way here, so that's pretty cool. But now we get a guaranteed ride, so let's get on this bus and go explore Kotor. And welcome to the fortified city, ladies and gentlemen. We're about to enter into Kotor. This is the walls of the city. This is one of those really old towns that have those fortified walls. So we're going to enter through that little loop-de-loop -loop hole right there and get into this very tight, condensed little town that's right on this mountainside. It's going to be dope. All right, so one of the first things you notice when you come to the city, or what we noticed at least, is there's a big mountain cliffside, and there's a castle at the top. And it looks like it may be accessible to the public. So we want to get a nice view phone. A view phone. <laughs> so our first order of business in this city is to get a nice viewpoint. So you want to try to get to the top? Let's do it. All right, we don't know how to do it, but we're going to try to figure it out. <laughs> Let's go. All right. We did not know that it was... All right, that was a little bit disappointing. It cost eight euros to get in here to do this hike. So, whatever, we paid the entrance fee, and now it's time to begin our hike to the top. So we just started our hike, and a cool thing I'm sure we'll be seeing a lot of are these ruins. There's a lot of ruins of the ancient fortress, which is so cool to see. But already, we started this hike two minutes ago, and the view from up here is incredible. Are you kidding me? This is so nice. But this is still nothing. We still have a while to walk up, so I'm really excited to see what the view is going to be like from the top. Let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have officially made it to the top of the castle. Here's the flag right behind us. Woo! This is amazing. So we made it up to the top. Now there's one thing we need to do. Tal, what time is it? It's time to fly. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's fly. So crazy. This fortress is all abandoned and you can see the different rooms and the structure is still here but the roof is gone, a lot of the walls have collapsed, but this is so interesting. So much history here. And Tal, do you know much about the history of 
this area? I know you did some Googling. So I don't know tons. I know I've done a little bit of research. I know that this was a strategic point for a lot of different civilizations. So obviously right now we're really close to Italy as well. So the Romans had their run through here. The Austro-Hungarians had their run through here. The Serbs had their run through here. Uh, but yeah, this fortress has switched hands many times. It's been destroyed, dilapidated, rebuilt, destroyed. So that's all I really know. And I know that it was a very important strategic viewpoint for a lot of the different armies and people who colonized it. Yeah, definitely for this area. You can tell this is such a great viewpoint because you can see any ships that are coming through the harbor over here. You can see them coming in immediately. Anyone who's coming from the land over there, you have views all around. Wow. And these mountains, every time I look, it's just like another whoa moment. They look crazy. They look like what I imagine Mount Olympus in like Greece to look like. Yeah. like they're like rugged. They look scary. Yeah. Look at that. Look at it. That's so cool. And now it's time to begin our descent down. Hey, 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 guys, we're doing something really interesting today. We're going on a boat and we're going to be sailing on this beautiful blue sea. But before we do that, I just want to quickly talk about where we are staying and the accommodation part of this video. So right now we have an apartment in a city called Hersignobi, and it's in a really interesting location. It's not one of the most popular spots in Montenegro, but it's strategically located so you can easily access a lot of other areas. Like for example, yesterday when we went to Kotor, it was only about an hour away. And also an hour away from here in the other direction is a city called Dubrovnik, which is a really popular city in Croatia. A lot of people want to visit there. And right here in Herzegnovi, we're in the middle of these two. And you can also, since the water is right here, you can access the sea. So you can go anywhere by the water, which is really nice, which is what we're gonna do today. So I just wanna talk about that a little bit. So if you're looking for a place to stay in Montenegro, Persignovi, it's a pretty cool place. And I'll leave a link in the description so you can check out this actual apartment that we are staying. And as a little bonus for you, if you stay in any Airbnb around the world, there's a link in the description that'll get you $40 off. 40 free dollars so you can stay anywhere in the world with Airbnb. So check that out. But for right now, we're gonna go out on a boat and explore. So let's go adventure. taking a little tour of the areas around here and right now we're going into a cave look at this oh it's so crazy Montenegro cave tour. Come on this tour. In the Philippines have tour A, tour B. This is tour C for cave. <laughs> there are so many caves out here. I thought we were going to maybe one cave, but this is our third cave. Look at this. This is freaking amazing out here. This is my favorite cave and I've named it Caveman. Caveman? Caveman Robinson. Caveman Robinson Jackson the third. I'm gonna give birth to him right out of my butt. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool. We are in a cave. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Woo -hoo. So we just arrived at what's this place called? I keep forgetting the name. Uh, Fisherman Village. Well, what's the name of the whole area? A uh, whole area. This is peninsula calling Lushitsa Peninsula. Lushitsa. But this village is Janitsa. 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 On Lushtitsa. Yes. yes. The whole area is Lushtitsa. Yes. Cool. yes, Lushtitsa. Okay, it's good pronunciation. Okay, I get approval. You got good. Good, good, good. And by the way, time to introduce you now. This is Oliveira. Hello. Hey, funny story. <laughs> They actually met in the Philippines, what, last year, two years two ago? Two years ago, yeah. Yes, two years ago we met at the Philippines. So. That's so cool. So they met and then yes. she said, hey, if you ever come to Montenegro, let me know. And here we are in Montenegro. So now she's hosting us. And also her beautiful mother is here as well. Hi, say hi. 
Yes, hi, hi. <laughs> I love you. Oh. <laughs> Do me one favor. Tell everybody, just say subscribe. Uh, ja vas volim. <laughs> say it in English. Just say, don't forget to subscribe. Say it right here. Don't forget to subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right, we made it. Bella Vista Apartments. I think this is your <laughs> Yes, this is yours. This is ours? Oh, you have a bed for... Oh, how romantic. So it looks like we're sharing a bed tonight. Yeah. <laughs> but this place is super nice. Look, we have a little kitchen. There's even lights in here. Electricity works. Everything. <laughs> Probably a little toilet room. This is looking sweet. Ooh-wee! Look at that! Damn! This is incredible. Spectacular. That's spectacular. Yeah, this is awesome. We're right now we're, we're on the rooftop of the apartment, and oh, this view is so nice. So I think for one more time in this video, Tal, what time is it? Steve. <laughs> what time is it? I think it's time to fly. Ooh, are you guys ready? Here we go. Three, two. One, let's fly. What an epic sunset last night. I was thinking about waking up for sunrise this morning, but didn't make that. We had a nice sleep in. But now there's one more thing we want to do on this island before we leave, and that is go to a fortress. So let's go check out that fortress. Here we are, we made it at the fortress. Look at this beast. Whoa. What's it look like? There's like literally a staircase going to the top. Really? Yeah. It looks awesome. It looks like a dungeon. Wow, look at that, ladies and gentlemen. That is the inside of the fortress. There's some stairs at the top there, but unfortunately there are some gates blocking us, so we can't get in. It's always so interesting coming to places like this and just imagining what life was like when these structures were in use. Like, this is a fortress, and the place we're standing on right now is such a unique vantage point. This is the edge of Montenegro, the tip of Croatia, you can see that right over there. And across this Adriatic Sea is Italy. So I'm sure the ships that have sailed through here over the years, just crazy to be standing right here and witnessing this with my own eyes. It's a fortress, what? <laughs> this is medieval stuff. This is crazy to come here and these buildings are still intact and to be able to see it and it's real and learn about the history, but also be here and be in the moment and. I feel like I learned so much more when I'm here. I'm sure I've learned so much about this in history class when this information was just fed to me and I was sitting in a classroom. And to be honest, I didn't really retain much of that information. But when I come here to these places and I learn about this history, and whether it be through locals telling me about it or me doing my own research because I'm in this area and I want to learn about why it's significant, I'm actually retaining this information. I'm actually learning it all and remembering it. And it's so interesting actually being here so I feel like travel is such a great way to learn I mean there's so many things I always talk positively about why I love travel but one of the major things I'm kind of realizing right now is how much I've been learning just about different cultures and history and and I'm here and it's so it's hitting me right now you know when you have those moments when you're just like wow I'm here that's it right now I'm here this is incredible you should come here too. Ooh, he's flying. He's flying right now, baby. Ooh, he's flying. I'm flying my head back on the ground. This man's skimble. <laughs> Yo, Tal, what time is it? It's time to motherfucking. <laughs> Yo, Tal, what time is it? It's time to mother flower fly, baby. <laughs> Let's do it. For the last time in this video, it is time to fly. Three, two, one. Let's fly. <laughs>
So, ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to the end of this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and also subscribe if you're new here. Check out Tal's channel. He's also making videos about this epic trip across Europe. And we'll see you. Go watch some more videos. We'll see you there. Peace.